வணக்கம் குட் மார்னிங் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் த சார்கோ டுபுலர் சிஸ்டம் சார்கோ டுபுலர் சிஸ்டம் இஸ் த இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஷார்ட் நோட்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் த மசில் ஃபிசியாலஜி திஸ் டயக்ராம் டெபிக் த சார்கோ டுபுலர் சிஸ்டம் திஸ் இஸ் அ டி டிபியூல் திஸ் இஸ் அ எல் டிபியூல் L tubule having the dilated sac sac it is called the called as the terminal cistern so once uh, once the uh, oxygen potential reaches the sarcolemma it pass through the t tubule t tubule or transverse tubule here it contains the dihydropyridine receptor dihydropyridine receptor it is the voltage sensitive calcium channel so when the uh, action potential travel it open the voltage sensitive calcium channels so l tubule contains the terminal cisterns that contains the rhinodin receptor that is this is the rhinodin receptor it is the calcium release channels the digaitro pyridine receptors and and rhinodin receptors mechanically locked by the lo- locking protein this is a locking protein the calcium interact when the action potential reaches the t tubule that opens the digaitro pyridine receptors that change the structural changes of the locking protein it releases the calcium from the terminal cistern into the cytoplasm of the skeletal muscle skeletal muscle it increases the calcium level 2000 times from 2000 times it increases the cytoplasmic calcium level sarco tubular system having the old age scattered calcium channel that is called as the digaitropyridine receptor that is connected with the rhinodin receptors digaitropyridine is the drug that block that receptor so it is called as the digaitropyridine rhinodin is the blunt alkaloid that is blocking that receptor so that is called as the rhinodin receptors in the terminal cisterns calcium is binding with the calcium binding protein that is called as the calcicostrin so it can store the high concentration of the calcium inside the sarco tubular system the sarco tubular system the terminal cistern and the l tubule of the sarco tubular system also contains the sarcoplasmic endoplasmic reticulum calcium atps during the relaxation this is a calcium atps calcium atps so after the muscle contraction calcium is pumped back into the l tubule longitudinal l tubule through the sarcoplasmic eto endoplasmic reticulum calcium atps so that is responsible for the muscle relaxation the functions of the sarco tubular system sir it is important for the action potential transfer transfer the action potential from the sarcolemma to the interior and it raises the calcium cytoplasmic calcium concentration by calcium release from the sarcoplasmic reticulum it also ensure the muscle relaxation by calcium reuptake by the sarcoplasmic endoplasmic reticulum calcium atps and the cistern of the sarcoplasmic reticulum act as the storage site for calcium summary sarcoplasmic reticulum is the modified endoplasmic reticulum in the skeletal muscle it is located in the ai junction in the skeletal muscle it is well developed in the skeletal muscle it has a t tubule l tubule t tubule contains the dihydropyridine receptor l tubule is contains rhinodin receptors both are interlinked by the locking protein 
and the oxygen potential reaches the T tubule, trigetropyridine and uh, rhinodine, trigetropyridine is sensitive, sensitized, it uh, produces uh, structural changes of the rhinodine receptor, it releases the calcium into the cytoplasm of the skeletal muscle, it produces the muscle contraction, after the muscle contraction calcium pump back into the L tubule through the sarcoplasmic reticulum, endoplasmic reticulum calcium ATPase, it is responsible for the muscle relaxation. Thank you for watching this video, if you like this video share your friends, thank you once again.